Welcome back to the fourth part in what is new for Level 7. Up next, we have something that is one of those things that sometimes happens and you don't quite know that you need it, but once you have it, you can't live without it. And I think you will agree once you see what it is. And it is that we can now publish the stubs. So let me show you something. If we go into our terminal here, let me type in PHP artisan make model. And we'll just call this a post model. And now we go into my project and under app, I have my model. So how many times have you seen me in the channel go in here and go ahead and set guarded equal to an empty array? Probably a ton of times if you've been following the channel. Now, there wasn't really an easy way for you to customize that. And that is going to change for Laravel 7. I am actually really excited about this because it is something that I struggle with. And I didn't even know that I was struggling with it. So it's one of those features. If you type in PHP Artisan, we now have a new command here, stub publish. And this command will simply put all of the stubs into your project so that you can actually put them in source control. And then Laravel will respect any changes that you make. So check this out. Let's do PHP artisan stub publish, switch back to our project. And we now have a brand new directory here called stubs. And inside of here is every single type of stub that Laravel uses behind the scenes. Of course, we were looking at the model stub where I added this guarded. So now there is the stub. This is what it looks like. So these are obviously placeholders. They look very much like blade syntax, but now I can go in here and finally, actually add this line in but you only add it once so we'll put it in the stub i'll close the stub i'll go ahead and delete that post model that i created like so and then let's generate it again so i'll go ahead and do php artisan make model post and now we go in here check out post and sure enough that is part of it so now for the duration of the project every time that i generate a new model let's just say for image go back here image yep that is already in there now some of the methods in here you're probably never going to use but that's okay just know that they're here in your project you can modify them to do exactly what you need another common thing would be maybe you don't want to extend the eloquent model but rather you want to extend your own that actually extends the eloquent model so that will be the place for you to change it. So you've got job stubs, you've got just a regular controller. You also got plain, nested, the API, the routes, invocable. I mean, everything is right here at your disposal. And like I said, this will allow you to put this in your source control for your application. And then for the duration of that application forever, you always have nice stubs that are customized just for you or your team. So with that, we'll go ahead and call it a day. This was just a quick one, but again, one of those features that you didn't know you needed until now. So that's it for now. My name is Victor. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button. So that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one.